welcome back to Lewis the Van. We are so excited to tour our latest dark build with this back bathroom and shower with you all today. If you are interested in purchasing this one of a kind tiny home on wheels, please reach out through the contact link in the description box below. The links to many of the items used in this conversion can be found there as well. Let's get into it. While we normally begin our tours by accessing the build through the side door, to do so would not give due credit to what sets this van apart, this full back bathroom and shower. This design is actually an expansion of one of our previous layouts that we tackled in a larger 170 inch wheelbase Sprinter last year. As a 144 inch wheelbase, this van presented the additional challenge of getting the same massive feel within a significantly smaller platform. Rather than a four-walled shower stall, this area is completely sectioned off by a divider wall and a sliding pocketed door, making it feel like an entirely separate room. This offers unparalleled privacy, especially for a camper van of its size. This bright white space is a total 180 from the dark living quarters beyond the wall. By inverting the design elements in each of the areas, the illusion of two completely separate spaces is further accentuated. Your eye is initially drawn to this statement wall, which features a small vanity area. The installation includes an acrylic mirror, waterproof slats, which mimic the ceiling in the main living area, and a small shelf. Not only does this area serve as an alternative access point to the vehicle, it's perfect for when you don't want to track unwanted dirt into your main living space. With hot water flowing out of your rain shower from this 2.5 gallon electric Bosch water heater, Showering in this tiny home is nothing short of an experience. We'd never sacrifice luxury for functionality though, which is why you can also find this smaller handheld extension. This extension gives you the ability to conserve water if you're running low, as well as rinse off outdoors or wash pets and equipment off. For the purposes of this video, we are using this Dometic cassette travel toilet. Should you feel the need for something more permanent, we've left a waterproof port pre-wired in for your convenience when installing the composting toilet of your choice. As full-time van lifers ourselves, we know just how important it is to have access to your systems. It's why we design all of the systems, including the plumbing system, with easy accessibility in mind. Here you can find everything you could possibly need to service the system. Water comes from this 32 gallon water tank housed in the main cabin of the van and drains into this 21 gallon gray water tank which replaces the spare tire underneath the vehicle. Aside from this back bathroom and shower, something else that makes this camper van incredibly unique is this double bench swivel seat. Double bench seats are incredibly difficult to source and the swivel capability is even rarer which is why we are so excited for the opportunity to include this as an option in one of our conversions. When in the driving position, it allows three passengers to ride comfortably and safely. To transition into a lounging mode, remove these bolts and the mechanism is able to freely slide around. In lounging mode, this double bench swivel seat opens up the space immensely and serves as an ideal spot for extra travel companions, possibly even furry ones, to stretch out and relax. This bench seat offers a surprising amount of storage underneath and is where we have installed this S-Bar D2 diesel heater. The heater is tapped into the onboard fuel tank and keeps this tiny home warm and toasty even in the most frigid months. There are five total options for lighting, all of which are touch dimmable. This set of switches controls the overhead middle and outer LED strips running down the length of the ceiling, as well as the underglows, which illuminate the center walkway. In the kitchen, this switch illuminates this moss to tile transition. On the opposite side, this last switch illuminates the wall. Running on 400 watts of solar, renewable energy serves as this tiny home's main source of power. This battery-to-battery -battery charger serves as a safety net, ensuring your batteries will remain topped off while the vehicle is running. Since user-friendliness is the ultimate goal, we've divided the electrical system into two main compartments. The lower compartment can be found underneath the couch and serves as the main powerhouse 
containing all 412 amp hours of 12 volt lithium batteries. The system is built using fully Victron and Blue Sea system components and contains this charge controller, battery to battery charger, Lynx distributor, inverter, as well as the Victron shunt. Everything is accessible through Bluetooth, giving you the ability to monitor your entire system from your smartphone. The upper cabinet serves as the main user interface and contains all 12 volt fuses, this 120 volt breaker panel, USB ports, as well as an additional 12 volt port should you find the need to add something more specific to your needs along the way. A remote gray water tank dump. And lastly, warmer pads for both water tanks as well as the batteries to ensure this vehicle is equipped to handle all four seasons. Contrasting the silver stainless steel hardware in the bathroom, the kitchen features a black faucet and a dark stainless steel sink. Beneath the sink, this drop down holds the water pump switch, as well as the switch to illuminate the water tank. Handy for checking your water levels and monitoring your usage while inside the living area. When not in use, this cutout can be inserted into the sink for some additional counter space. This two burner induction cooktop gives you the ability to cook all of your favorite meals from the comfort of your tiny home on wheels. To use this 120 volt device, turn on your inverter by pressing the button located in this upper cabinet. This pull out tabletop extends the counter space even more so and also serves to vent the stove directly above. Six large upper cabinets run along both sides of the van, providing lots of storage. You can find an electrical outlet under each side for plugging in a device or an appliance. To transform this living room into the bedroom, pull out your couch, which doubles as a 50 inch by 75 inch bed using a high quality slatted design and cushions uniquely fitted to fill in as the mattress. Supported entirely by heavy duty drawer slides, this couch to bed conversion is possible without the use of supporting legs and maintains the sleek, minimal feel of the rest of the van. Underneath, you can find this very large carpeted storage area. This floor to ceiling unit has more than enough storage, containing one upper compartment in addition to four various sized drawers with latches. In the middle compartment, you can find your 65 quart Indel B refrigerator and freezer. This van has one slider window to maintain its stealth factor. We consistently purchase our windows through AM Auto, find them to be incredibly high quality, and we'll be linking their site below if you're in the market for windows of your own. We'd like to thank the wonderful Co for sending us these window covers for the entirety of the cab Perfect for some extra privacy at night or for keeping the sun out during the day, these covers are a must, whether you're a full-timer or a weekend warrior. That being said, we'll have them linked below. This camper van is housed inside a 2014 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 144-inch wheelbase with 39,000 miles on the odometer. This model features the four-cylinder engine with seven-speed transmission, which maintains better fuel economy and is extra zippy on the road, making it super fun to drive for a vehicle of its size. If you enjoyed this tour, leave us a comment below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Also be sure to check out the description box for item links and our contact info. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.